day eight. I still need to attach the bottom of the privacy screen down to the bottom of the fence. But for the most part, that's completely done. I called the guy today to come get the uh, volleyball courts all tilled. We have a corporate party today, uh, end of league for Wednesday Savannah's uh, payout for our Wednesday league and lots of office work to do. So, and hopefully I'll be able to do a little bit of practice myself today if it's not too busy. So let's get this day started. So we are getting uh, unexpected delivery today. We weren't expecting this in just yet. Glad it's here though. I gotta break it down. It's, it's not even. It won't even move. It won't move. Okay. It weighs about, I don't know, 2,000 something. Do you need help breaking it down? Uh, I can bring it over here. I can cut it, bring it all. Do you got a two wheel or something? Um, I've got a dolly and a, and a parts wagon. Oh, perfect. Okay. I'll go ahead and bring those both out. Okay, I'm gonna get my knife and cut it. Okay, awesome. So now I'm going to run and get the dolly and the parts wagon, which I will pick the video up here in just a minute because I kind of need both hands for this. So today we've got some new house balls. Yay! We're so excited about that. And we've got new bowling pens. Uh, the reason why new bowling pins are important is because the wood inside the plastic casing breaks and bowlers don't get a great pin reaction. Yes, that is Las Vegas in the background. No, we're not really in Las Vegas, but it's nice to look at. Um, so I've already moved a little over a quarter of a pallet, uh, 24 boxes in all, and I'm completely beat. I've got pizza dough to make today, so I'm going to take a break from moving these heavy boxes and go make some pizza dough. So all my deliveries have seriously put me behind today. I got that unexpected delivery of pens and, and house balls. And I still have to move those because we have that corporate party today. Uh, got the delivery of food, which I was expecting. Uh, was not expecting it as late as it is. So now it is one, 15. So. Well, I don't know how many YouTubers get to say this, but I get to meet my first subscriber. This is Rhonda. Hi. <laughs> this rock star helped put up all the pins. So, yay! The pin palette is empty. We're so happy. And with an hour and 30 minutes to spare. Now we just gotta get the stuff out of here. Oh, where is it going? <laughs> <laughs> we need to take it out to the dumpster, please. All right. Make sure it 
doesn't get stuck underneath the track. So this piece here is called the track. And just make sure that your feet are out of the way. So I'm at our Brookfield bowling alley right now and I'm going to find out why this lane isn't starting. So I'm going to check it in and it says it's powered on. I have no idea if I have a lane, lane monitor. So I need to turn it on the monitor. Without turning on all the others. It's not on. So this is our Brookfield Center. It's a little eight lane house. Uh, you've heard me talk about it in some previous ones. So I have no monitor either. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna check. I'm gonna start up lane seven and see if I have lane seven. If I have lane seven, then we have an ISO. Actually, I turned on the wrong monitor. Okay, so I'm gonna go turn that monitor off and I'm gonna go turn the other one on. It's approximately uh, 1230 in the morning. So I've been at this for a while now. So I'm gonna turn this one off. Oh. Okay, so I have a lean computer. So that tells me I have a problem in the back. because the communication is working. So we're gonna to go to the back. As you can see, the runway is really small back over here. Uh, some people call it a gainway. So I'm actually walking down the gutter cap. And it's very, very dark back here. Okay, so we run 8270s back here. And this is what they look like. I'm not going to run that right now. Um, seven, six. So I'm doing the master control and I don't have any master control. So, on top of the machine I go. Climbing on top of these is a lot easier than climbing on the 30s back in our Revolutions lanes. I'm just checking the communication plugs. making sure that 
All the connections are in. Check in the chassis. That's the chassis for A70. It's a little bit different. Well, it's a lot different than the 30s. Hmm. That's the little walkway. They got pin rails on these. Makes it easier to climb up and down. This is the pin bin. The distributor. And then on this side is how the distributor knows where it's going. Back here is a maintenance shop area. Checking the breakers. I don't see any breakers that are tripped. Hmm. Actually, I should probably move some of this stuff back in these panels. a lot safer. Alright. Alright, so we're going to go back down through here. Then we're going to go check the breakers up front. And if that doesn't work, then I'm going to restart computers. And potentially... I was hoping it would be an easy fix. Something simple, someone missed. That's a beautiful floor. All right, so we're gonna check this panel up here. Everything that's supposed to be on is on. All right, so now we're gonna head upstairs. 
and we're going to attempt to restart the lane computer. I'll have to uh, either find a flashlight or turn my phone off for this piece because it is super dark up in the attic and I need a flashlight for this one. And I don't see one up at the front desk, so on my phone it is. And I need to turn the lights on upstairs. So, upstairs, restrooms, stairs. Second floor lights. So, back up we go. That is our icon. We love that machine. That machine is awesome. So we have a bad roller. So what I did was a process of elimination. I took lane six main power cord and I plugged it into lane five. And then I used the maintenance power supply and turned on lane five and lane five came on just fine. So I'll have to see if it's the switch in the front, which I'm not sure how to do. However, my other mechanic knows a little more about the front switch than I do. So I'm going to try the master controls again. So I'm going to switch the master power off and turn that to on. And I still have no power. As you can see, if I switch that to up, I have power. Down, I do not. So, definitely have an issue probably in the front masking unit switch. So, I forgot to shut off the light in the back. It's already been a very incredibly long day. So, I'm going to... Oh, those are the um, motion detector lights. So, I didn't forget to shut it off. I actually did shut it off. Yay me. I almost always forget to shut those off. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go home and call it a day. Uh, we'll cover <laughs> tomorrow. Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to get this lane up and running. Uh soon oh, we'll see you guys in a few hours bye